Welcome. Welcome to MTG Onish. My name is Matt. You're watching me open crap. All right, this is going to be my very last box of Modern Horizons that I will ever open. So here we go. And, uh, well, as far as I know, I've got it all specifically planned, etc., etc. I'm not going to talk anymore about that, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be my last box. So this is kind of, uh, it's kind of sentimental for me, you know? And, uh, we're just going to see what we get, you know? Not much to talk about. Just get to cracking the packs of the old Modern Horizons and see what we can end up with. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love this set. I'm going to miss opening it. Let's see what we get, boys. We're in it for the long haul. Oh, starting with a foil squirrel. Can't go wrong with that. And a snow covered island. And a reap the past. And uh, I guess I'll sort the uncommons here. Commons. So yeah, not really going to mess around today, just straight opening, cracking and going. There's a normal one. Uh, collected Conjuring, well, a little bit of a weak start here. That's okay, we'll make up for it, hopefully. Yeah, foil bird. There's uh, the first land, the old grove, I'm going to make a land pile here. This set is so... I love this set. I know I say that. I know I say that in like every video. But there's just so much good stuff. Ladmary's Call. Very nice. Bastion. Uh, there's quite a few uncommons in here. like all the stones. That are worth a couple bucks too. So it is very easy to meet the value of a pack by just cracking one right now. Because there's just so many valuable cards in this set. There's Sisse. I don't think she's got any real financial value, but hey, look look what we got. We got like five bucks worth of uncommons right there. Super cool. And uh, I don't know if it's actually five bucks. You know, I kind of... I've been thinking about this. I kind of don't like talking about the price because it doesn't age well. Like, whatever it's worth now is definitely not what it's going to be worth in a couple weeks. So, foil, man, I wore Cool. So, I think... Oh, oh yes. The Seasoned Pyromancer, one of the big cards in the set. There he is. Very nice. Just making an appearance. Welcome. Welcome, Seasoned Pyromancer. Okay. It was a weak start, but it picked up really quick. Foil Soldier. Another art card. More lands. And KS Guile, another pretty good card. Uh, you know, it's playable. It's playable. The old Matron. Oh, the last box. I've opened a lot of this. Um, seen only one Urza ever. Shattered Assumption Foil. Ah, oh, a Vista. I've seen a Vista in like every box. Not that I'm complaining. I absolutely love the card. But it just seems to come out very, very frequently for me. Alright, there we go. Yeah, this is, this is just turning out amazing. I'm pretty sure we are way beyond par at this point force of virtue there we go pulling it back a little bit with the guard rare the old force of virtue it's not that force of virtue is that bad it's just that it's not that good all right shapeshifter there's just better cards you know miss syndicate ninja no one plays you i don't think i've never seen anyone play it I mean, all it does is copy itself, and it does damage, which is not the greatest. Oh, we got the 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 charm, not the GTA, the charm and force of despair. Wall blossom, cool. The astrolobe, old astrolobe common. Bird mountain, sad Genesis. Oh, we've got the creativity. Very nice little mana rock. Seems like even when you get a bad rare, you usually get a mana rock or a generous gift or something that makes the pack hold up its value in what you just opened. So just such a great set. Such a great set. Uh, Merit and Besieged. No one cares about that card. Pillage. Hey, a giant. Not a good giant, though. But uh, a lot of giant hype in this latest Calhoun set. 
So forest and on thin ice. Can't decide if this card is good or not. Don't think it's that great. It's not the worst. No, I don't see anyone play it really though. Just remove the land, remove the enchantment, you get the thing back. Alrighty. Foil illusion. Cool. More art. And we have Enling. And another talisman of creativity. Getting a lot of these talismans. Is it talisman or talisman? I wonder, you know, I wonder if I introduced myself as the wrong channel, if people would notice. Like if I was like, hi, I'm Tim with Slack and Packs. I don't know. Oh, Morphe. Uh, the Boundless. Very nice mythic. Uh, I love that card. A rebuild. That's a nice mythic to get. We're up to two mythics now. Oh, the last box. The last box. I'm, a, I'm glad we at least got Vista, Pyromancer, and Morphon. That makes the box already good or already decent. Oh, now the box just got amazing. That's a foil. Fiery Islet. You're going over there. Good. Very nice. Let's just look at that one more time. Look at that shine. Oh my goodness. I love it. And then we got Hoagie. In case you're hungry and want a Hoagie. Soul Herder. Ah, some decent uncommons there. Foil Fiery Inslet. I'm pretty sure that's uh, just in like one, two, three, in four cards we've almost made the value of the box as of today. I don't know how it's going to age, but it's uh, it's pretty strong right now. Winds of Abandon. I'd like to abandon this pack now. Oh, got it the other way. Okay, let's see what else we got. Another on thin ice. Look, my patience is now on thin ice after pulling two of those. Because why wouldn't it be, you know? That's a terrible pull. Elemental. Swamp. <sighs> force of Vigor. You can't go wrong with the old Force of Vigor. It's, it's, you know, holds decent value. I'll say that. And it's a strong card. I like it. Never going to be mad about pulling the old Force of Vigor. Ah, uh, Foil Angel. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Foil. It's pretty nice. And we got a Force of Rage. Let's see what else we got here, boys. Soldier. Urza Art. And uh, Aria Flame. This card's better than it seems, I think. I don't know. It sucks if people kill it right away. But if you can just keep the getting to cast instants and sorceries after it comes out, flashback, whatever, whatever you need to do. I feel like this is a, a big game ender for the storm decks, and I don't see it played much in the storm decks. It does have a bit of a setback. Oh, the nice hex drinker, mythic, decent mythic, and another talisman of creativity. We're seeing a lot of those. Wow, I think that's the most valuable one too. So I think this was, uh, you know, so far so good. So far so good, and we got a lot to go still. I don't think we can lose out on this box anymore. This is Marriott's Lages Slumber. All right. Let's see what else we got. Ah, oh, Scrapyard Recombiner. Sad day for that pack. Okay. Alrighty, what do we got here? Running six art. Foil, eye kite. No one cares. Give her brunes. Now people care. Mom 1.0 or 0.5. I don't know. It's like a worse mother of runes, basically. Alright, well, um, we're getting close to the end here. I think I've got to pause the video after this packed up and be right back. Let's see what we get. Oh, it's the Queen of Bears. No one cares about the Queen of Bears. Not a very good card. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I want to play it sometime. All right. Pause. 
Okay, just a few packs left. Here we go. Get to cracking. Oh, this has been a really, really good box. Bird art. Oh, the spiteful sliver. I don't know. I guess this one's okay. Okay, sliver. And commons. Yeah, I guess that, that spiteful sliver is like one you want to get out before they blast with act or something. That would be pretty mean. Okay, shredded that pack. Let's see what we got here. Oh, the Cordial Vampire. Another talisman. We have so many talismans. Okay, well, this, uh, can this box get any better? We've already, we're already on par. We're beyond par, I think, at this point. Foil Elephant. Winds of Abandon. Oh, the Lightning Skelemental. Interesting card, but yeah, not too great. Okay, let's see what else we got. Just a few last packs here. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the Bizarre Trade Mage. Oh, come on. No one likes the Bizarre Trade Mage. You know, I think uh, I think this card's a little better than it seems. I know everyone hates it, and it's like a 25 cent card, le worth less than all the commons, and all, et cetera, et cetera, but. I feel like it has a little potential. It's a pretty big flyer for three mana. And if you're playing some sort of reanimator deck where you can make take advantage of your yard, it's not that bad. It's not that good either. Though. You do lose a card just for playing it. Alright. Oh, wrong pile. Unsettled Mariner. Shapeshifter. Changeling. A little bit of hype around this guy. I like him. Another talisman. Plenty of talismans. And four packs to go. What are we going to get? We're playing the lottery. Oh, oh, the echo. Oh, we got a foil ravenous giant. No big deal. But the echo of Aeons, this card, it's... Here we go. Here's the combo. I think I found it. I think I found it, guys. Aggro blue. Discard the echo. Get it back. That's a big card. Oh, it's a mythic too. Let's put it in the mythic pile. But yeah, that Echo of Aeons is nice. It's a nice card. And nothing else special there. It's a good one to get. I think it's holding pretty good value. Not going to mention the price. Because I'm sure by the time you watch this video, it will have changed anyway. Foil Zombie. Bellowing Elk Foil. And a Dead of Winter. A lot of hype around that one, especially with all the new snow sets coming out. Alrighty. Two last packs. We've only got two lands. That's actually kind of rare. Well, we did get the foil one, so three lands, but still. Usually you get like four or five. So I'm a little surprised. Maybe we'll see a few in the close here. Let's see. Zombie. Oh, nope. Just some goblin engineers. No worries. Alright, last pack. This was probably going to be my last pack I'm ever going to open of Modern Horizons, so I'm just going to savor it a little bit. Oh my goodness, just savor it. If it's good, I'm going to be happy. Oh, it's a Nurturing Peatland. I guess that's not that bad. It's not a complete miss. Alright, well there you have it. That was that box. Uh, wow, actually, you know, we had some big cards. The Inslet's big. We got the, the Vista, we got the Pyromancer, the Morphon. I don't know if this box, it started out really strong, but it got real weak here. These these are some weak, weaker the rares. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I think it was an overall pretty good box. Just didn't see Urza or any of the Force Negations, which is, you know, the big cards. All right. Thank you for watching. Peace out, guys.